Morning, this is Nshaman Oike reading for this new week. Today I'm reading for Aries, Taurus, Gemini and Cancer. And this reading here is for Gemini. Welcome Gemini. I'm starting with the Moonology Oracle card. And out for you came Third Quarter Moon. And the Third Quarter Moon relates to adjustments. They are now required. Think of yourself as a vessel that has been filled more and more over the past few weeks. Some of what has come your way may have been wonderful, but there is also a lot of negativity and you need to let go of this. Whatever situation you are asking about now, be honest about whether there are toxic emotions involved which you need to release into the ethos. This card also comes with the promise that all is not lost. However, there are changes or adjustments required before you will get to where you want to be. A change, of course, is forecast now that recent events have been understood and acted upon. <clears throat> there may also be a crisis now, which will remind you what you want and what it is time to let go of, so pay attention. Attune to the moon and say, I am re-evaluating the situation. Additional meanings for the card, they are your life may be out of balance and this may be causing your issues. It may be time to hatch a whole new plan. Something new and exciting is around the corner and trust may be required to move this situation forward. The teaching of the card is at the time of the third quarter moon, we know where we have been, but we are not quite sure where we are going. The moon is now a half moon and slipping away from us as the moon catches less and less light, moving towards full disappearance at new moon. It's a time of falling away and a time to re-evaluate. No matter when you draw the card or it comes out in your reading, the teaching is to release and to trust. And now, Gemini, I send you on a journey and you will be going to see the Devil's Tower. The energy focus is introspection and the location is in Wyoming, USA. Have you been harboring a desire to roar? Bear appears to help you out of hibernation and express yourself better. Have you put your needs aside in order to care for others? only to rebel later without due consideration. Bear medicine teaches introspection, so slow down and listen to your inner voice. Acting out is an instinctive lashing out, particularly relevant within the family unit. As a parent or a child or sibling, your past outbursts may have pushed away the ones you love rather than getting their support, which is what you really needed. Bear medicine presents you with the courage and strength of heart now to make amends. Bear Lodge is one of the Native American names for the tra traumatic rocky outcrop known commonly as Devil's Tower. 
Many legends are associated with this place, and in one, seven little Kiowa girls were playing in the fields nearby when suddenly they were spotted by giant bears who chased them. They prayed to Great Spirit to save them, and the crown rose beneath their feet lifted them to the heavens. The bears tried to climb up after them, but slid back down, leaving their claw marks in the rock. The girls reached high into the sky and turned into the Pleiades constellation. Are you often tempted to run away from a situation? wishing you could be somewhere else. You must act on your instincts for change. It is time to call on the Great Spirit to assist you to move on. So do this by meditating on the bear paw power symbol. Focus on the image for a few minutes, then close your eyes and visualize how you would like to see the next few days or months or even years to pan out. Do this regularly to keep a focus on what you need to do to manifest this outcome in your life. The Pleiades, also known as the Seven Sisters, they feature in mythology around the world. Like other civilizations, The Native American peoples looked to the heavens for guidance and spoke about those who had visited from the stars. And the Hopi consider themselves to be direct descendants of the people of the Pleiades, who are said to have come down to earth. The Lakota believe that after death, the soul returns to its home in the Pleiades, And it's not by chance that Devil's Tower, featured in the Steven Spielberg film Close Encounters of the Third Kind, as the point of contact between humans and extraterrestrial beings. What is it that calls us to look to the skies for answers? Is it because the stars? They are the source of our being and offer a way of looking back into our past and into our very souls. Consider learning more about the constellations and their mythology for insight into dealing with emotions in relationships. Now you are asked to do a visualization by finding your path. Great Spirit has gifted you two castral feathers, an honor indeed. As you focus on the feathers in your mind, become aware of the two paths that wait, await you. You are invited to walk only one You may choose the pathway that will test your bravery, honor and capacity for service and sacrifice. This path leads eventually to your enlightenment. Or you might choose the path that is shortcut to happiness, material wealth and abundance. Both will bring you many, many experiences and also lessons. But which would you rather travel? The long hard road to freedom or the temporal path of short-lived delight? The choice is yours, so before you make the decision, allow the kestrel to land you by its far-reaching sight. He soars above the world watching and waiting, ready to hone in on the details of your chosen path. 
now we come to the oracle of the seven energies and the card that came out for you is beautiful uncaging this card deck has different energies assigned to each card like earth water fire love sound light and sword and beautiful uncaging is a water energy the key concepts they are the prison of guilt a need for self-inventory rigorous honesty accountability and making some amends at this time you are being called to assess your guilt is playing a part in your life recognize how it is affecting you and others and address it so you can release yourself from its grip guilt is a powerful emotional state capable of transforming difficult situations it keeps you accountable for your actions when you have done something that you need to address it can also feed a self-sabotaging cycle that fosters codependency and a distorted sense of personal power self-blame can lead to behaviors that perpetuate low self-worth have you done or said something for which you need to make amends have you disregarded a boundary or broken a promise guilt can make you aware of potential ways you have given injury and show you how to redress the transgression when you sincerely admit that you are wrong and begin the process to fix it this is an act of accountability responsibility and also liberation so take a moment now to consider when you have harmed someone or maybe even yourself this knowledge will free you from the story you tell about it so you are able to connect with truthfully remorse now is the time for rigorous honesty as you take a self-inventory with a neutral state of mind a good question to ask yourself now is why the guilt is there you might be taking on a burden that is not even yours to carry so pay attention take action and uncage yourself from the prison of your own making now we come to the goddess power oracle card and for you came out the meter and the meter is the nurturer the goddess of nurturing there is an empowerment message giving to others is a wonderful feeling when you have a healthy sense of yourself you want to share your love your inspiration and your experience and the exchange feels clean your boundaries are fluid yet strong the greek goddess of green motherhood and the harvest the meter reminds you that a harvest is meant to be shared you have now tapped into her nurturing love which is abundant and your well-meaning gestures will be received with gratitude in in some way returned to you tenfold now is the time to nourish yourself as well forgiving must be balanced by receiving allow yourself to feel how the universe is like a wonderful nurturing mother that is always there when you need her Demeter says to trust that you are loved and cared for all day 
every day and for all time, especially now. There is an alignment message to the card. Do you sometimes overgive to people until you are an, um, em, an empty well? Perhaps you have attracted others who are needy and want you to look after them or you might be in a pattern of people pleasing because you are afraid to set boundaries. There is a sticky quality to connections based on this need to be needed. Although the possible repercussions for setting boundaries are in your mind, your body holds on to fear tightly. So it can be scary to make a change. Demeter knows the price of this way of being as it caused her to lose something so dear to her. Now she has come to show you another way. Your alignment task is to recognize that it is time to step back, take a breath and say no to the behaviors and people you know are training you. It is that simple. The divine is the one with the plan. So gather your love, your nourishment and your self-worth. Choose how you nurture and how you want to receive nurturing. You are so loved when the goddess Demeter brings you her nurturing energy to help you to correct the course. And the last card is from the Wisdom of the House of Night Oracle. And this House of Night, Wisdom of House of Night Oracle, is ruled by the Goddess Nyx. And the Goddess Nyx, she says to you, when you choose the symbol of hope, Know that no matter what temporary setbacks there may be in your life, light will return again. When the moon is hidden in the darkest forest, it is hard to see your next step and it is easy to give in to the fear that there will never be safety or light again. I am here to guide you when you have lost your way and I will help you maintain faith that good things will come your way once more. Take one step toward your dream. I will take two steps toward you to help you achieve it. So have hope and only good things will come of it. So, Gemini, that was your reading. Thank you very much for listening. I wish you a wonderful week. Take care and goodbye.